Hi everyone, welcome to the part 3 of DI PYQs. In this particular video, I'm going to show you the DI PYQs which had some error and I'll also tell you how to tackle such error. Because even if you challenge the question, it's not necessary that it is being accepted. Sometimes they give the benefit of doubt to the wording part. So you need to be extremely cautious while handling such questions. So this is what we are going to look at. In case if you are watching my session for the first time, so this is a bit about myself. My name is Runaksha and I teach uh, the subjects. I'm also the author of LRDI Book of Anatomy. So keep learning. And if you go for plus or iconic for uh, the next year's CAT, don't forget to use my code chart 10. Uh, please stay connected with me through this telegram group the link has been provided in the description and there are many other useful links provided in the description so do check that particularly the free test that i have created for all of you so there are plenty of free cmat uh, unit and sectional tests that i have created so do check that the next test is coming uh, day after tomorrow right so here is the first question which i felt ke it was ambiguous um, so you are given um, the pie chart uh, embodies uh, the details uh, about uh, the percent production of uh, by seven different companies A to G with total production for all companies at 1500 units. So we are given total production as 1500 units. Okay. Now consider the following statement and choose uh, and choose the correct option. Okay. So uh, yes, you are given certain statements. Now first statement says that company A and G are producing more than 500 units. Now why this question is ambiguous because they, are, they haven't mentioned company A and G together are producing 500 units or they are producing individually 500 units. But still, if you look at uh, options, so you will figure out that it has to be together only. Okay, because if you look at the value of A, it's just 16%. Okay, so 16% of uh, 1500 units, it's going to be 240 units. Similarly, 11% uh, is going to be, let's quickly calculate the values, 165, 21% is going to be what 315 then this is also 315 now 26 percent will be uh yeah uh, it will be 390 units isn't that because uh, 25 percent one fourth is going to be uh, 375 plus one percent is 15 so 390 and this is f is five percent that is 75 and g is 12 percent so it's going to be 180 so we have all the values with us now if you look at any of the statement all the statements are similar right and uh, if you go by that, then you will feel that none of the statement will be correct. Okay, so companies A and G are producing more than 500 units. So we have to assume that they are talking about together. They are producing more than 500 units. So A uh, 240 units and G 180 units. So it's not more than 500. It is just 420. So this statement is not correct. So option A wale, just maybe option a statement A R I option me, wo to nikal gaya. ठीक है अब स्टेटमेंट बी देखते हैं सो कंपनी बी एंड एफ टुगेदर वंस अगेन दे हैवन मेंशन बट यस दिस इज हाउ विल हैव टू अज्यूम आर प्रोड्यूसिंग लेस देन 250 यूनिट्स इन फैक्ट इवन इफ यू कंसीडर इंडिविजुअली और टुगेदर यस बी एंड एफ टुगेदर 165 प्लस एफ इज 75 सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी हाउ मच या इट्स एग्जैक्टली 240 यूनिट्स राइट सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी 240 यूनिट्स which is definitely less than 250 and even if I consider individually so it's still each of them individually are less than 250 so either way can I say statement B is true similarly if you check statement C will come out to be true C and E account for 705 so C and E together you will have to take okay so C 315 and E 390 so this is going to be 705 yes so only B and C are true so guys, when you come across such question, you will have to quickly figure out. You don't have much, you don't need to spend much time. You need to understand what they are trying to say. You know, many a times those who are not good at English, they feel K A and G is same as A and G together. So for them, everything is same, right? So you need to understand from their perspective. Okay. Sure. Guys, this NTA people will better not discuss about them so answer is option b you have understood this now let's look at one question which had which was completely wrong right they are saying the ratio of the value of exports between the uh, yeah study the pie chart and answer the question given below there was one more note over here which i haven't mentioned i think it is lost somewhere okay all the values represents angle subtended by that uh, particular uh, country in the total uh, global exports so these are given in degrees so you can make out yes it's angle subtended right okay 
Now, if you just add these angles, guys, it will come out to be approximately 330. It's not coming out to be 360 degrees. So first problem is there itself. Whenever you represent pie chart, it should have 100% as a breakup or 360 degree as a breakup, right? So this is what uh, the error was in this question. But even if you come across such question, let me tell you how to solve such question. The ratio of the value of exports between the total exports of USA. Now, what is a USA exports 54 degree of 144 okay, plus uh, Japan and Japan. So, what is Japan's total export uh, 45 degree of um, 144. So, you can say 40, 54 upon 360 plus 45 upon 360 to the total export of Australia and France. Right now, we just need to find out ratio. So, guys, we really don't need to make such complicated calculation. What you can do is... 54 plus 45 divided by Australia and France. Now France is 27 and where is Australia? It's 18. Okay, so 18 plus 27. So guys, this is going to be 99 upon 45 or you can say it's 9 by 5. Isn't that? Yeah. Sorry, 11 by 5. 11 by 5. So this is how you can tick mark the answer. Any other answer gels with that. So don't give further thought that this total 360 degree is not going to happen. In fact, let's look at this question. What is the number of countries whose exports are more than the average export per country? Okay, now what is the average export? So you really don't need to look at this value. Consider average export, total export as 360 degree. And if you look at there are 10 countries. So average export will come out to be 36 degree. Okay. So in terms of degrees, it will come out to be 36 degrees. So how many countries have export values more than 36 degrees? So can I say it's this countries, so USA, Japan, and they are also asked us to consider others as a single country. So others, and uh, yeah, there is one more country, I believe. Do we have any other country? Yeah. Guys, this Russia was uh, 37.8, huh? There was some, uh, yeah, this is my typing mistake. It's 37.8. So even Russia. So there are four countries which have, uh, which satisfy this condition. So even if I consider this as 37.8, this will not add up to, uh, uh, you know, the total 360 degree. Right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's look at next question of the set. By how much does the value of exports of Japan exceed that of Australia? Right. So Japan is 45 degree. Australia is 37.8 degree. So what is the difference between these two? <clears throat> yeah, so it's going to be uh, 45 minus 37.8. 45 minus 37.8 out of total 360. Now you will have to consider 360 into the total exports. That is 144,000 billion. Okay, so guys, what will be this value? So you can say it's going to be 7.2. Now, what you can do is you can actually find out 7.2 is what percent of 360. So can I say it's 2%, 1% is 3.6 degree. So 2% will be 7.2 degree. So we basically need to find out 2% of this one. So 1% 1 is 1440 billion. So 2% will be how much? 2880 billion. So how much does the value of exports of Japan exceed that of Australia? So it should be... Uh, sorry guys, uh, it is Australia, right? This is 18. Okay, so 45 minus 18 divided by 360. Okay, so this is going to be how much? It's 27 degree. Now 27 is what percent of this one? Uh, 36. So can I say it's 7.5 percent? Uh, it's it's 7.5 percent. So basically we need to find out 7.5 percent of 144000 billion. Now see, 10% of this one will be 14400. So what is 7.5%? Can I say it's 3 fourth of this, right? So we can say this is going to be 36 fourths. 36 fourths. So 3600 into 3 is 10800. So this should be our answer. 10800 billion. So I really hope you have understood this. This was slightly complicated question. Moreover, there was error in data. But you will have to consider total angle as 360 degree only. Remember that. What is the value of total exports of USA and France as a percentage of total exports of Japan, China, Russia and Hong Kong? 
सो वंस अगेन यू आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट परसेंटेज ठीक है एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ सो यू रियली डोंट नीड टू लुक एट दिस वैल्यू सो यूएसए एंड फ्रांस इट्स फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री प्लस फ्रांस इज ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ जापान चाइना रशिया एंड हांगकॉन्ग तो फोर्टी फाइव जापान चाइना इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट एट प्लस रशिया थर्टी सेवन सो एज आई सेट दिस इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट एंड हांगकॉन्ग इट्स नाइनटीन पॉइंट एट दे हैव सम लाइकिंग फॉर पॉइंट एट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दिस परसेंटेज इफ यू लुक एट द वैल्यूज आर वेरी क्लोज सो यू हैव टू डू कॉशियस कैलकुलेशन सो लेट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट विल बी दर येस सो दिस विल कम आउट टू बी एटी वन एंड दिस टोटल विल कम आउट टू बी वन ट्वेंटी टू राइट फोर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी सेवन प्लस अप्रोक्सिमेटली फोर्टी So it will come out to be 122.4. So if you calculate this percentage, it will come out to be 66.1764 percent. You will have to do precise calculation, right? So this is how you could have tackled such question. So I really hope you have understood this and you have enjoyed the session. Do let me know in the comment section how did you find it, guys? And uh, keep learning. Don't forget to apply my code Chartin whenever you go for plus or iconic. That's it. Stay tuned for more videos.